Today, we're pitting the Garmin Forerunner 965 against the Polar Vantage V3, two recent contenders in the fitness tech arena that are gunning for a place on your wrist. These timepieces, launched in March and October of 2023 respectively, are pushing the boundaries of what wearable technology can offer to elevate your training and performance. Both of these watches come armed with a treasure trove of features, expertly combining form and function, making them the perfect fit for athletes who demand precision without compromising on style. And here's the kicker, they target the same market segment, so you've got a real face-off on your hands. Whether it's through comprehensive tracking of physical activity or providing valuable insights to help you make those crucial training decisions, the Forerunner 965 and Vantage V3 are more than up to the task. But hold on, they might be identical in price, but there are some key differences you should be aware of. Both the Forerunner 965 and Vantage V3 sport a sleek circular design with five physical buttons for easy navigation. This layout ensures you can use them without a hitch, even during intense workouts, where touchscreen functionality could become a nightmare thanks to sweat or the elements. Now, when it comes to their construction, the Forerunner 965 boasts a fiber-reinforced polymer case with a premium titanium bezel, striking that perfect balance between durability and elegance. Meanwhile, the Vantage V3 opts for an all-aluminum case with an aerospace aluminum bezel, providing a slightly lighter feel without sacrificing toughness. In terms of size, the Forerunner 965 and Vantage V3 are neck and neck, ensuring both watches maintain a strong presence on your wrist without feeling cumbersome. This means they're suitable for both everyday wear and your intense workout sessions. Now let's talk about something that'll make your eyes pop, ammo LED displays. These two devices have upgraded to ammo LED screens from their previous iterations. The Forerunner 965 boasts a slightly larger 1.4-inch diameter screen compared to the Vantage V3's 1.39-inch one, but the display resolution remains identical at 454 by 454 pixels. What's more, both watches offer an always-on screen option, ensuring that key information is just a glance away, whether you're basking in full sunlight or working out in the dim light of dawn. The Forerunner 965 comes in classic black and a white stone powder gray option, giving you that traditional look that seamlessly transitions from the track to the boardroom. On the other hand, the Vantage V3 spices things up with a vibrant palette, offering sunrise apricot, night black, and sky blue, catering to those who want a pop of color and a more expressive style. When it comes to water resistance, the Forerunner 965 is rated at 5 ATM, which means it can handle pressures equivalent to a depth of 50 meters. The Vantage V3 is similarly rated at WR50, making it suitable for swimming, but not recommended for high impact water sports or diving. So no matter which one you pick, you're covered for most water-based activities. All right, folks, let's peel back the layers and dive under the hood to explore the sensors and connectivity options. Both of these watches are loaded with tech to cater to the modern athlete's needs, but there are some noteworthy differences. The Forerunner 965 comes equipped with Gen 4 of Garmin's Elevate Wrist Heart Rate Monitor, a SpO2 monitor, and a suite of navigation and environmental sensors, including a barometric altimeter, compass, gyroscope, accelerometer, thermometer, and an ambient light sensor. The Vantage V3, on the other hand, shares some sensor capabilities like the accelerometer, heart rate, SpO2, and barometer, but steps up the game with advanced health tracking. It packs Polar's Elixir Biosensing, which includes a first-generation ECG sensor and a skin temperature sensor. These extra health metrics can offer deeper insights into an athlete's physiological state, potentially giving the Vantage V3 an edge in health monitoring. In terms of connectivity, both watches offer Bluetooth and Ant Plus connectivity, allowing them to pair with a wide range of devices and sensors. The Forerunner 965 even goes the extra mile with Wi-Fi, making data transfers faster and easier, and enabling features like automatic uploading of workout data to Garmin Connect. When it comes to satellite connectivity, there's not much of a difference. Both the Forerunner 965 and Vantage V3 feature dual-frequency GPS, GLONASS, and Galileo support, ensuring accurate tracking of outdoor activities. The Vantage V3 takes it up a notch with Beidou and QZSS support, potentially offering improved coverage and accuracy in challenging environments. Now, if you're still with me, let's break it down to the nitty-gritty. 
The Garmin Forerunner 965 is your comprehensive fitness companion. With Elevate wrist heart rate monitoring, Pulse Ox for tracking heart health, advanced sleep and stress tracking, and a lot of performance metrics. On the flip side, the Polar Vantage V3 focuses on detailed recovery stats, featuring an ECG sensor, SpO2 monitoring, and precision heart rate tracking. It also introduces offline map storage and a unique virtual flashlight for adventurers. Now, as for smart capabilities, both are primarily fitness watches, not full-blown smartwatches like the Apple Watch. That being said, the Vantage V3 boasts a zippy CPU for responsive performance. The Forerunner 965 caters to music lovers with onboard storage for 1,000 songs and Garmin Pay for on-the-go transactions. Meanwhile, the Vantage V3 relies on smartphone music control and lacks a payment feature. In summary, the Forerunner 965 is your all-rounder with sports tracking, smart features, and music storage. On the other hand, the Vantage V3 shines in health monitoring and is perfect for those who prioritize recovery insights. So, which one's your pick? Hit that like button, subscribe, and stay updated with the latest in tech.